Now this question is on the topic of chemical bonding and the concept that is being tested is the strength of ionic bonds. Now um, this, strictly speaking, this question is beyond um, the syllabus of the O levels. Uh, strength of ionic bonds, um, the factors affecting strength of ionic bonds will only be taught in A levels. Okay, so uh, for this question, you are given the melting points of uh, magnesium oxide and calcium oxide, both of which are ionic compounds. So the melting point, melting point being a physical property, will depend on the structure and bonding. Alright, both magnesium oxide and calcium oxide have giant ionic lattice structures okay, with strong electrostatic forces of attraction between oppositely charged ions and these are your ionic bonds okay so the difference in the melting point must be due to the dif difference in the strength of the ionic bonds okay so how do we know um, what factors will affect the strength of ionic bonds the strength of an ionic bond uh, depends on the charge okay meaning the large higher the charge on the ions the stronger will be your ionic bond okay the strength of ionic bonds is also inversely proportional to the ionic radius okay it means inversely one over ionic radius meaning the larger the size of the ion the weaker will be the strength of the ionic bond so now let us compare the two factors for um, the two ionic compounds. Um, magnesium oxide has Mg2+, contains Mg2+, and O2-. Calcium oxide contains Ca2+, and O2-. So if you compare the charges on the ions, you will notice that um, the charges are the same. They are all 2+, plus and 2-. Minus. That would allow us to cancel out options A and B because the charges are the same. There's no difference in the charge. Now we need to look at the next factor, ionic radius. Okay, for that we don't learn the trend for ionic radius. That means that we need to infer from the melting points. The fact that magnesium oxide has a higher melting point, it means that the ionic bond is stronger. That would mean that the magnesium ion would be smaller than that of the calcium ion right so the answer is d